Hey everybody. In this video, we're gonna configure and verify the Cisco archive configuration. Uh, we're gonna get started here on router one and get logged in. We're gonna make sure that we do not have the archive already configured. We can show run pipe section archive. And it is not configured. Let's take a look at dir. I like to save my configurations in a directory on flat on the local box. Uh, so we'll make a directory on the flash, and we'll call it configs. Verify that that was created. Here it is. Okay. We'll get started with config T. Uh, we're also gonna wanna make sure that we're logging this information to our log buffer as well as uh, potentially a syslog server. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we have enough lines to do that. So we'll set our logging buffer uh, to 100,000 lines and we're gonna log informational information. Okay. Then to get started with the archive, it's as simple as just getting into the archive configuration with archive. Uh, we're gonna log our configurations. So log config. And this is logging to the archive log, not to the syslog yet. Uh, so we'll set that logging uh, to be enabled. Right, and we're gonna set the size of that log and that goes from 1 to 1000 we'll set ours at 500 so that'll be 500 lines within the archive log okay we're going to notify our syslog server and this is where it logs to our log buffer as well as potentially like i said a syslog server uh, we're going to send the content type of plain text and then we're going to hide hide our keys. So the hide keys is to make sure that when we're typing in our passwords for usernames or MD5 hashes, enable secrets, that information is not stored in plain text within the logs. Okay, we'll drop down one level and we're gonna set our path to save our configurations to the path that we created, uh, to that directory that we created in our flash. Uh, configs, oops, configs. Uh, I like to make sure I add the host name. Cisco makes it easy with the dollar $H uh, that tags a host name, uh, our host name to that uh, file. Uh, I also like to separate it with a dash to give it a little extra space because every time that the file is written uh, to the directory, it's gonna put a time, time date stamp on the end of it. Okay, so dollar $H with a dash and then every time we execute a write memory, it's going to write that, uh, write a new uh, uh, backup to that flash directory. Okay, so we'll end that. And since I haven't done a write mem yet, we will not see any configurations in the archive. And uh, we'll to show the archive, it's just as simple as show archive. And this is where those configurations are going to be stored. And you see, this is what is going to be uh, set when we do save the configuration. So quick write mem here. All right, show archive again. And we can see now we have one configuration saved. All right, it follows this same format, flash configs, the router name, and then that date time stamp, like I said, on the end here. Okay. And then in order to uh, show that configuration, you can, you can do that on the, on the device itself by using the more. I'll just copy and paste the path in there. And we can see here's our configuration that we just put in. It's saved now to that archive, as well as to the uh, archive uh, log. So if we do a show, Oops, 
go archive log uh, config all. And here's all the changes that were made uh, once I enabled logging. Okay, as well as the show log. You can see in here each of the configuration changes that were made once I enabled logging uh, to the syslog. Okay. Uh, real quick, we'll demonstrate too that when I set a username or password, uh, it will not show that information within the log files. Uh, so let's say uh, username, uh, we'll call it test test uh, three. Uh, we'll set the privilege to 15. We'll set our algorithm type to scrypt with a whoops, secret password of Cisco. And we should see that log generation right here. This is the command that we just put in and you can see it puts the little asterisk at the end, does not show our password that we typed in in the log file. Definitely a must have for security. Uh, if, then if you all, if you wanted to verify the configs that we just did, we do a show run pipe section logging and archive. Okay, so we set our log buffer to 100,000 lines, informational. Here's our archive. We're logging the config. We're enable logging. 500 lines. Uh, we're notifying the syslog. We're hiding our keys. We're saving every time we write mem to the flash uh, configs directory that we created. So as you can see, a very useful tool for managing your configurations on the box. Uh, and uh, will come in handy uh, in another video that we'll go through on uh, uh, being able to revert these configurations that you're making uh, on the box. Uh, so if you found this, hope you found this uh, video informative. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to get notified of new videos.